friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 plus nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter keratom on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the cornea for better visibility. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 2 o'clock hours away and now this is how I do capsular excess. Uh, erase a capsular tag with a needle and then hold this capsular tag with a vitreta forceps and go anticlockwise remaining at a certain distance away from the margin of the dilated pupil and thus I get a round optimum sized rexus. Now hydro dissection is to be done. BSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim. The fluid wave goes to the opposite side. Hydro delineation is also attempted. The nucleus is ballotted and mobilized and rotated. And now PISCO is again injected and the tip of the FECO handpiece is to be introduced now. This is a totally unedited surgery. The machine being used is Oatly Cataryx 3. This is the easy tip. The tip goes bevel down. Some superficial cortical matter is removed. And now see the submarine chop. The fecal needle is rotated, bevel is up towards the cornea now. It is buried into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator, just like a submarine moves through water. And then it is chopped and this is a nice crack. It is rotated 180 degree and the two pieces are completely separated from each other. And now each large half, that is each heminucleus is subdivided into two large fragments. The same principle, the tip goes through the lens matter. It is held very firmly and the chopper divides the heminucleus into two large fragments. Each large fragment is tilted and emulsification of this triangular large fragment is started from its apex. And now this is, see how to tilt this. Just use the chopper and the fecal needle to tilt it and start emulsifying from the apex. Why from the apex? Because this is a sharp and pointed and if it goes towards the posterior capsule, it will exert pressure on a particular point and if it is too much pressure there is a possibility that the posterior capsule will give way and now this is the last piece it is being emulsified yes and now the nuclear fragments have been emulsified and that's it the nucleus and hem epinucleus has been managed very nicely 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected in this case I have made only one side port so I'm going to use this instrument a 23G Simcoe cannula this is a very thin slender Simco cannula and see how efficiently we can remove the cortex with this instrument. Otherwise we can use a coaxial 
irrigation aspiration device but the quick shell is thicker and the quick shell doesn't go through the side port and this goes through a small side port and now some lens epithelial cells some lens fibers are attached to the posterior capsule and um, using irrigation to dislodge these lens epithelial cells from the posterior capsule we can call it hydro polish polishing of the posterior capsule with the help of hydro that is bss balanced salt solution yes posterior capsule has been nicely polished and now in this case a uh, hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the anterior chamber formed by the irrigating probe and the irrigating probe dials the lens and now see suddenly a piece of nucleus comes from behind the iris and it is moving in the anterior chamber now yes it has come out i hope there is this is the only nuclear piece see the people is nicely dilated still this quite large nuclear piece was hidden under the iris somewhere now the single side port made in this case is closed by corneal stromal hydration and then this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time a gentle stream of bss is directed towards the corneal endothelium and visco from corneal endothelium gets dislodged and gets removed through the main wound then the chamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills this is a totally unedited surgery i hope you will get inspired to record your surgeries by this video and upload it in your own channel in the youtube